What is up? It's your boy Johnny Shree, Vive BB Pro, Mr. Italic. It is. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're going to talk about the top five best to worst ranked cardio machines. The most amount of cardio you can burn within 30 minutes. Now, guys, obviously it's not straight, straightforward when you're trying to, you know, rate things best and worst. Obviously, like your current fitness levels, your, your fitness goals, your own preference, injuries, health, all those things can play a huge role in how much you can actually burn on the machine. But when we're talking about, like, you know, we're just kind of give you an idea of you know, an estimate of like, look, this is how much you could possibly burn within 30 minutes doing zone two cardio or like within, you can give you a little bit of an idea, right? Again, guys, we're looking at like tracking calories or burning calories. It's always going to be an estimate. Just remember that. Now, when it comes to cardio, before I get into this, I want to—I just want you guys to understand like how much you're missing the mark, literally missing the mark when it comes to doing cardio. Now, if we do the bare minimum, what the Surgeon General requires basically to have a healthy life, whatever, Basically, five days a week, 30 minutes of cardio a day, 150 minutes. That's it. 150 minutes. That's it. Now, there's a bunch of things here. I literally was like looking things up. I'm like, let me just let me just get some some facts here of like what cardio can actually do for you. Because I don't think really people really get into it as much in terms of like, hey man, cardio can help strengthen your heart and also help you lose some fat and you can probably avoid some disease and illnesses down the road, but no one really gets into it to the nitty nitty gritty gritty. And I want to like just brush over a few things, like a lot of things actually. Let's look at right now what cardio can do for you. All right. How can cardio benefit the heart? Obviously guys, when you do cardio, your, your, your heart is a muscle. The stronger that thing gets, the stronger everything in your body gets, you know, enhances your mood. Mood fluctuations throughout the day, you're having a stressful day, you have that dopamine release just from achieving a run for like 30 minutes. How many be how much benefit you get from that, those endorphins and the dopamine release from achieving that, that is alone. And a lot of people say, like, I got the runners high, or he goes to cycling class, whatever. And then he's like, but he's like, I can't stand doing it. I hate to actually go in there, but when I'm done, I feel absolutely amazing. Like the the trade-offs. The benefits you get from like the, you know, just from mental health aspect of that is amazing, right? Um, let me see what else we have here. All right. So obviously it helps your heart, helps your brain. Cardio exercise can help protect your brain as you get older. Studies are reported that physical activity may reduce dementia. And this is a big thing for me because my father is in late stage dementia right now. You know, when it comes to preventing those things, if I can do, you know, 30 minutes of cardio a day to, to prevent that, why the heck not, right? Benefits your joints. You know, fight osteoporosis and arthritis. Now, some people are like, yeah, but when you run, you can hurt your knees and whatever. When you run wrong or you, when you do things not the optimal way, yeah, you can. But when it comes out to the grand scheme of things, when your body is used to running and moving, your body is adapts. It learns how to adapt to the environment. And then guess what happens? You get stronger bones. You get more you know, resilient bones. That's what you want. You want to be healthier. You want to make things stronger. Let's keep on going. The list continues. Cardio can benefit your skin. No matter how you choose to move, being active helps increase circulation, which leads to clear, healthier skin in practice. Better blood flow to blood cells, lower stress levels. Like, let's keep going. How does benefit muscle? Well, guess what? When you train your, when you train your muscles, you train your heart. When you train cardio, you train your heart. What do you think and I said this before, I made this point a bunch of times. When you do cardio, it increases your overall cardiovascular health and your cardio output. So for the most part, when people fail at sets, it's not necessarily because the load is too heavy. It's because when their heart rate is pushing a load, their heart rate skyrockets and they can no longer sustain that and their you know, lactic acid builds up and then all of a sudden they're putting the weight down. But if you increase your overall cardiovascular output, you're lasting longer in sets, you're recovering quicker in between sets and then you're getting stronger i don't like at like reading this off is like what is it like why are we not why are we not doing cardio uh what else digestion speeds of peristalsis we've already mentioned that cardio enables muscle to work harder that includes muscles driving peristalsis it's basically the the di your digestion track like the muscles in your body like the, like your like your intestines are muscles right it's like it helps squeeze things through everything that's happening on the inside Again, cardio is going to increase the efficiency of your digestion. You ever hear people say, you ever people say like, oh, they, after they eat, like, I need to go for a walk and walk this off and feel better, right? Now, you don't have to go run it off, but like, understand this. If you're doing cardio, that already is getting better. There's too many things that cardio is doing good for you guys that I don't understand why we don't do cardio. I get it. It's boring. Yeah, you got 30 minutes. I'm sure right now you can find a bunch of things you can do 
30 minutes that you can sit on a treadmill or a step or whatever, put up a, a TV show or something or watch it for 30 minutes and you're good, right? Let's be serious. Let's keep, uh, car- uh, cardio benefits the lungs, obviously. Like, I can, the list can go on. There's way too many things that cardio is good for and can benefit your overall livelihood that we're missing the mark. So in this video, now we know like, you know, the benefits of cardio, like a good, a good list of it. If you had 30 minutes of cardio a day, right? Five days a week, 30 minutes of cardio a day, what machine is going to burn the most? Now, again, we're talking about ranking these things, other, other factors play within that. But from first to last, we're looking at number one, a, a jogging on the treadmill. Now, why is jogging outside not the same? Well, when you're outside, you can be on something flat. You could be going downhill. You don't have total control over the intensity. On a, on a treadmill or any machine, you can just basically program the intensity. All right, we're going to go this fast for this many minutes. And then you basically have to go that fast. When you're outside running, which is completely fine, I think it's something you should do anyway, you can definitely slow down. You know, you can slow down. You can go downhill, like I said. But again, when it comes to why is this number one, and I would kind of disagree a little bit. I would probably put this like after stepper. But we're talking about jogging. It's because of basically the high impact of jogging itself, putting your feet off the ground, and then you're and then you know you're putting your foot back on the ground. You're that impact in it being a very weight bearing exercise, meaning. Weight bearing basically is your entire body is moving the entire time. What would be like something that wouldn't be as weight bearing would be like a bike, right? Half your body isn't really doing anything and your legs are doing all the work, right? So channel being running is number one. Within 30 minutes, you can literally do 400 calories around that. So, you know, they're on, they're on three to 400 calories. You could, right? So number one, we have treadmill and I, you guys are like, wait a minute, treadmill, you're really walking. When we're looking at this, it took more so of somebody jogging, right? The research is behind this is you doing a light jog for 30 minutes. How much calories can you burn? Reason why it's number one is because of the impact of you actually moving your entire body up and down. It's the most weight bearing exercise you're doing because your entire body is going through the movement and you have to lift your entire body up and down, right? Now, 30 minutes, you can burn around 300 calories and women a little less than that. Now, number two on that is the air assault bike. Now, air assault bike is freaking tough. I literally tried to progressive overload, you know, five minutes. I'm like, I'm going to do another five minutes next week. It was pretty tough. Why? Your entire body is moving and different like a bike. The handles and the pedals are attached. So you have to use your entire body to go back and forth. And it is a hard one to do. 30 minutes, zone two cardio, men, 250 to 350 calories, women about 200 to 300. Again, these are estimates. These are not exact numbers. Other factors will definitely play a role in how much you can actually burn, but this is just estimate. Now, after that, number three is a rowing machine. Now, I like doing the rower. I like doing a rower for more so like little spurts, little sprints. That for me, I like doing that. Can I do it for 30 minutes? For me, preferably, I probably can, but I know people who do. And why is it? You know, why is it number three and not number one? Well, number one, you're sitting down. It's not weight bearing, but you're basically doing deadlifts and and, and machine row. It's literally what you're doing. You're doing back and deadlifts the entire time. 30 minutes, you can do around 200 to 300 calories and women around 150 to 250 calories. Great machine to use. Give it a try. Never know. Now, after that is one of my favorite. But I would say an honorable mention, I would say right next to this would be the stepper, but you're looking at the stair climber. And I can definitely agree with this because just from my own experience, I like doing the stepper. I have a stepper in my basement. I actually have an aerosol bike as well too. But when it comes to the stepper, it's not as weight bearing because you're not actually taking your feet off and picking them up and then going up the next step or pushing the step down. And that's why it kind of has this little honorable mention for me. But stair climber, look, Stair, climbing stairs is tough. Anybody who's done it before understands that climbing the stairs is pretty damn tough. I remember back in the day when I was body, uh, when I was uh, competing, I lived in this apartment. It was like 28 stories. And I was like, I'm going to do stairs instead. I'm actually going to walk these stairs to the top floor. And it was a bit. It was tough. By like the 10th floor, I was like, it's like, dang, like I got 18 more floors. This is ridiculous. You know what I mean? Again, it's weight bearing, much like the rower or aerosol bike, your entire body is basically walking up the stairs, right? And within that time, you're looking at in 30 minutes, you can do, I would say around like 300 calories, you know, and then women a little bit less than that, 
So like for like you know within like thirty minutes you could do around like one hundred and eighty ish to two hundred sixty calories in women a little bit less. And again, these are all estimates. Now, last but not least, looking at the elliptical. And why is the elliptical the least amount? Well, elliptical is the least amount because it's, it, yes, it is weight bearing, but it's low impact. And elliptical was one of those machines made. It's like, it, it basically emulates almost like cross country skiing. It's very low impact. You're not picking up, your knees aren't, aren't taking a big hit. Your hips aren't taking the big hit. And you are aiding yourself with the handles. And you can take your hands off the handles well, too. And have an option of doing a full body or half your body. And that's why it makes the end of this list, right? So when it comes out of the grand scheme of things, if you really want to do some easy math, and these estimates are taking off, you know, a couple studies I, I looked up. But if you really want to do some math, if your machine has the wattage um, feature on it, basically you'll look at the matrix, the matrix, steppers, stair mills, they have that option on there. You can click, you know, heart rate, Mets, and then it says like watts. Take 3.6 represents the hour. 3.6 times the wattage will give you the amount of estimated calories burned. So like if you do 150 watts, if you do 150 watts for you know an hour would be like 540 minutes. Dice that in half, and you got 270 cal- around 270 calories. That's what you get, right? To give you an idea how to estimate. To give yourself some kind of like a number that you would that you can actually like you know track down if you have that on your machine. Now, again, when it comes down to the grand when the grand scheme of things, your success to implementing this into your life is going to be you at least trying it. Here's my advice: progressive overload this, right? For those who are not doing 30 minutes or any cardio at all, asking somebody to do 30 minutes right off the bat for five days a week is a tall order. I get that. So if you don't like doing cardio, which most of you probably don't, here's how you do it. Let's do 10 minutes of cardio five days a week. And every day, pick a different machine. Whichever machine that you can do that you are like, hey, this 10 minutes wasn't that bad. That's the one you might want to do and continue with. And then the next week, you're like, hey, man, 10 minutes wasn't that bad. I'm going to try 15 minutes. And you're like, I'm going to try 20 minutes. And you're all the 30 minutes. And by, by the time you get to 30 minutes, you can just chill out there for a bit and just leave that the way it is. And then we're looking at like, you know, burning fat and whatnot. We can adjust our calories that way. But we're talking about just being healthy and adding this into your life that's going to have a massive benefit. Try it out. Let me know how it goes in the comment section below. For more videos, check these ones out. Grab my ebook, Push Bull Legs ebook. It's getting updated, so everyone will get a new updated version. Who are those of you who have bought the ebook before? We'll get the new updated version as well too. And my nutrition ebook is coming out very, very soon. I can't not wait. It is almost finished. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok, guys. Send me your progress pics, your training pics, and your video clips. I'll repost it for you because you know how it is. Iron sharp as iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.